Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how and why spiders make webs. Fake spider web is one of the most popular Halloween decorations in the USA. Tarantulas are one of the most common arachnids kept as pets. Unless you own a heavy webbing species, then you'll commonly see your tarantula webbing when they're doing a so-called happy dance after they catch their prey. Some spiders use silk to create an egg sac to hold their spiderlings in. Most arachnids will use their webbing to create a shelter to hide in. Most true spiders and jumping spiders create a safety line to hopefully save them from a high fall. Thanks to the St. Martin's Press, I'll be using their photos from this book. Spiders have special silk glands to create their webbing, and with the aid of spinnerets to weave it into its shape. Spiders construct their silk using special glands. Some spiders can construct eight different types of silk during their lifetime. They will use their igniform gland to form silk to wrap and immobilize their prey. When it comes to wrapping an egg sac, they use special silk from their solidriform gland. They use their ampullate gland to make dragline silk. Dragline silk is the strongest type of spider silk because it has to support the spider's weight. If you're wondering why their webs are so sticky, they use their sticky silk from their flangelliform gland. And that was just four different types of webbing from four different glands. As I said before, it is possible for them to make eight different types of silk. Hello everyone! I hope you enjoyed California's Critters' first Halloween special. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this video encouraged you to look closer of how spiders make their webbing.